Hello and welcome back to the course on MetaTrader 4. Today is a quick tutorial for us to start learning how to navigate the platform and for us to get comfortable with MetaTrader. Now, what do we have in front of us here? Well, MetaTrader 4 can be broken down visually into separate segments. And in this tutorial, we'll walk through them one by one. We won't go into too much depth because we'll discuss everything along the course in its due time. But at the same time, I'll just name the segments and tell you what they're there for. So first off at the top here, we've got a control ribbon where you've got the file, view, insert, charts, tools, window, help. From this uh, ribbon, you can do virtually anything in MetaTrader 4, um, but at the same time, it's not as conveniently presented as the rest of the platform. Next, we've got the toolbar over here, and we'll talk about the toolbar in more detail further down in this course, and I'll show you how to customize the toolbar so you have exactly the functions that you need exactly the tools in this toolbar that you'll be using and for now we'll just click this button over here to arrange our windows and as you can see they arrange very nicely like that um, what else do we have so we've got the time frames here we've got some markup tools um, and once again we'll be customizing all of this to suit your specific requirements and your trading style Next on the left here, we've got the market watch window. And so I'm going to expand this window over here. Let me do that again. So I'm gonna expand that maybe a bit more. And once again, I'm just gonna click that button so they tile nicely. Um, so the market watch, what it does it is it has all the currency pairs. It doesn't necessarily have all the ones that are available to you right now. And I'll show you how to fix that up uh, later on the course, but it's got some of the currency pairs and some of the instruments that you can trade and as you can see it's quite a long list it even has like gold here and uh, silver and some some other uh, instruments that you are like possibly can trade and it's got uh, some information about them so it's got the bid the ask price um, and basically you can use this uh, market watch to quickly open a new charts if you like and let's go ahead and do that now so let's say we want to look at australian dollar new zealand dollar and we'll just go right click so that was a right click and we go chart window and there we go i just opened up a, a new chart um, so we'll leave it there for now uh, next we've got the navigator window up, uh, down at the bottom here and the navigator window allows you to uh, first of all, look at your accounts. So if you have multiple accounts in one trading terminal, you can switch between them using the navigator window. So you can see that's my account over there, Carol Romenko. Um, and then we've got the indicators. So we'll talk about indicators. We'll have a separate section about indicators and I will tell you what they're there for. But basically, if you want to add indicators to your chart, this is one of the ways you can do it. It's, uh, it's very visual and very nicely formatted. So kind of like folder style. So you have a, a folder, which is indicators, and you've got subfolders in here as well. You've got uh, expert advisors or scripts, and we'll be talking about all of those in their respective sections. So we'll get back to that further down in the course. And then down here at the bottom, you've got the terminal window. So over here on the left it says terminal. And this window is predominantly used to get information about your trading terminal. So the open orders, the closed orders, your exposure, uh, any journals, and so on. And we'll talk about the terminal window more in more depth, but this is um, the win window located down here. Um, also, there's another, another window which you cannot see right now. And if we click this button here, strategy tester, uh, you'll see it'll pop up. So this is another window tester, and this is for tra testing automated trading strategies, but we won't be talking about this. I have uh, a separate course on uh, automated uh, trading strategies. So we'll just close this window. I just wanted to show you that it is there if you want to bring it up. All right, and then finally, most importantly, we've got the main part of MetaTrader 4. This is your workspace. This is where your charts are. So I can double click this chart to uh, expand it. And that is how you would normally probably look at a currency pair. So you're not distracted by other charts. At the same time, as we know, you can click this tile window and it will be nicely tiled there for you. And uh, yeah, then once again, you can switch between the charts. So if you have a full screen mode, you can switch between the charts over here. You will have the separate tabs. So don't worry, they haven't disappeared. You can very quickly switch between your charts. So once again, let's press that, press that tiled button. 
And there we go. That is our basic intro to MetaTrader 4. In the upcoming tutorials and sections, we will discuss all of this in much more depth and you will know exactly how to navigate and use these features to your advantage. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy trading.